All right, hello. Today we're going to do an experiment that involves heat transfer. For this experiment, you need some of the following materials. A piece of normal writing paper, um, a pen knife, some scotch tape, and of course, a copper tubing. All right, you can get any of these uh, copper tubings at your local DIY store for just $3. All right, step number one. Take your pen knife and cut out from your piece of writing paper two strips of paper as such. Okay, one piece and then the other strip. So now you have two strips of paper. Now, for one of the strips of paper, you have to wind it around the copper tubing as such as tightly as you can. All right. Uh, Tear off any excess and make sure that the remaining strip of paper is wound tightly around the tubing. Alright, using your scotch tape, secure the strip of paper around the metal tubing as such. Alright, and you're good to go. Now, what would any heat experiment be without an open flame? Of course, if you're in a laboratory, you may use the Bunsen flame. Now recall, we have two pieces of paper. Alright, one is the free piece of paper, which I've secured to a wooden chopsticks. And the other is the piece of paper that is wound round around the copper tubing tightly. And of course, I've attached the copper tubing. Um, to a pair of, uh, to a chopsticks so I may uh, hold it above the flame safely. All right, so we're now going to do a predict, observe, and explain experiment. So, the first part of the experiment, I'm going to hold this piece of paper over the flame, and then you guys will try and predict what's going to happen. Are you ready? All right, let's go. All right, watch closely. Watch very closely. Ah. All right. Do you see what happened? Now, if I put this paper on the copper tubing next to the flame, what do you think is going to happen? Well, let's find out. Watch really closely. I'll zoom in for you. What do you notice? The paper does not burn. Can you explain why?